everybody, Erica Bang from ericabang.com here with Melanie Fiona. What's up? How are you? Doing good. Oh, I just, beautiful. Thank you. I just had an amazing lunch. Awesome. Delicious. <laughs> Culinary Creations, by the way. Culinary Baltimore. Creations, Baltimore. <laughs> you don't know, you better know. So you're gearing up for the new release of your album. Yes. The MF. Life. The MF Life. Tell us about it. Um, you know, it, it, in the process of coming from the bridge to the new album, uh, I've been through a lot. I've been through a lot of great, amazing things, highs, and a lot of really trying moments in my life that are lows. And, and I just realized that you really just can't have one without the other. So I realized that I needed to come up with something that was going to help me get through life, help me express how I'm feeling, and just, you know, relate to other people. So that's where the whole concept of the MF Life comes from. And it is all puns intended it is the mother effing life it is the mighty fine life it's the melanie fiona life and it's you know it's, it's everyone's life so i just want people to feel connected to the whole project not just the music Ooh, cool, cool. well i know i personally love your first album thank you can you tell me how you feel you might have changed or evolved from your first album to now the first album was definitely um it was definitely paying homage to like the inspirations that that you know helped me create music artists art you know my upbringing my culture and it was definitely you know a very um a very general diverse album i just wanted it to reach as many people as possible and just kind of like set the basis for i don't want to be put into a box and, and i just want to people to listen to this music um because i feel like it's good and now um the mf life is definitely more melanie fiona it is my own creative style it is what i've evolved into it's an evolution from the bridge it's called stadium soul just because it's every song is so big and um and and i'm just i'm really excited it's a little bit more vulnerable personal personal um sexy and fun really just it's just like it's just real real and i've done a lot of writing on this album so i'm really really excited about that that's always a question i have for new artists and artists who are just you know within the first five years of their career really yeah. i always want to know do they feel like they have to be in this pop box do they have do they feel like they have to make certain music to be able to sell records and i can tell by your voice that you definitely definitely have talent so Thank do you, you feel the pressure as far as to, to make certain music i mean there's of course there's pressure just because you see when when i take a look around and i hear like auto-tune and like talentless, you know, singers who really are not singers, but they're just manufactured to fool the world to think that they're singers. Right. And they're living with, you know, successful accolades and number one records and people think that they're the greatest thing in the music. It, that just drives me actually to just not be that, to be honest. Um, you know, because I could easily just be like, that's what everybody's doing, that's easy. But like, it takes, I think, real guts and it takes real risk and real innovation to go against the grain and to try to get the masses to see something else. And I'm up, I'm up for the challenge just because I feel like I do it from a, a, a real genuine place. Mm -hmm. And um, and I feel like people need to hear that and need to see that. And it, it's like it's a nice refreshing thing, I think, when people are used to hearing all this and then there's something that stands out exactly, for me. Exactly, exactly. Will we, well, what kind of um, collaborations will we see on this album? Okay. I'm still working on them. Uh, the album, I would love, if I could, I would love to collab with B.O.B. I'd love to collab with uh, Drake. Yeah, and I read that I would, on the wrap-up, I think. That yes. That wanted to collaborate. Yes, with, yes, with Drake. yes. Um, you know, Drake, that would be awesome. Drake and I are longtime friends, so like, it, it, it's really just making it happen. And he's really cool. We've spoken about it. He's down. I'm down for him as well. So um, I would definitely love to see that happen. Um, I'd love to collab with CeeLo on my album, John Legend, I've been doing some writing with. So it's just a matter of figuring it out and figuring out what's going to make the album. Right, can you tell us where we can find you online, maybe Twitter, Facebook? Yes, um, Facebook, Melanie Fiona, so it's a fan page. Um, Twitter is me, at Melanie Fiona. Uh, MelanieFiona.com is the website, and it's under construction right now, but we'll have some new stuff up there for you. And um, my YouTube is Melanie Fiona TV. And they're all me. They're all really, really me. So um, I love all your social media. I really do. I was just tweeting right reading right now um, about being here and having this amazing amazing lunch and uh, and yeah it's, it's really me so I love hearing from my fans so please come and say hello hi Erica Vane readers and followers and people <laughs> tweeting about it this is Melanie Fiona and you need to check out my girl Erica Vane .com, um, and Erica Vane her publication wherever she is everywhere <laughs> check her out she's hot and she's awesome thank you